WMAR is a proud partner of House of Ruth, Maryland. Well, here's a disturbing statistic. One in three teens in the U.S. will experience dating violence or abuse before they become adults. Lisa Nitsch is the Director of Training and Education for House of Ruth, Maryland, and she joins us now to talk about this issue. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So February is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. Tell us why this month is even necessary. Yeah, so of course we care about this issue all year round at House of Ruth, Maryland, but this is a great time to remind parents and youth serving professionals. This is a good time to bring up the topic. Um, we have a hard time starting the conversation with teens about all kinds of things, but particularly dating violence. Absolutely. So we encourage teachers to, to focus lessons on it, parents to really raise the issue when watching TV, listening to music, that kind of thing. Now's the time to bring it up. And what are some of the signs that parents and, and other authority figures should be looking at? Yeah, the number one thing is a change in a pattern. So change in the pattern of their behavior. They might stop doing things that they used to en uh, enjoy, avoid people that they used to hang out with, but a drastic change in behavior is something to look for. Isolation is a hallmark of dating violence. That could be isolation caused by the abusive partner who's saying, I don't want you hanging out with your family and friends. Oh, so they are changing their behavior. Absolutely. Or mm -hmm. it could be isolation self-imposed by the victim because they're embarrassed about what's happening or maybe they're, they're trying to avoid showing injuries. And so they'll avoid people and, and, and things that they used to enjoy. So so if you suspect this is happening to a loved one or a friend or a child, what can people do? That's right. They can call our 24-hour hotline. Seven days a week, there is always a live trained person there to answer your calls. And we encourage uh -huh. folks, don't go it alone. Every case is different. Every safety plan is different that we do with clients. You know, finding the person's strength and the, ways, the best way to handle it really is to get some guidance, particularly young people, teens who might be concerned yes. about a friend. Tell an adult. Let somebody know. Absolutely. And then I'm wondering also in this day and age with technology, everyone's on apps and swiping left and that's right. right and that's right. <laughs> and I, what role do technology and apps play in this? Yeah, it's a, it's a double edged sword there. In some ways, um, it can be used by abusive partners to control their, their victim. Mm. Um, a lot of software and, and, and programs that were created for parents to watch their ch monitor their children's behavior online is really being used by abusive partners. Uh, we've got lots of apps where we're sharing our GPS and teens are sharing passwords all over the place and that's all fine and dandy while everybody's getting along but when a relationship ends that can go right. sour very quickly. On the other side though, technology can have a protective factor. That there are ways, there are apps that you can download. Uh, Noonlight and Tinder are both adding features so that when you go out on a date, you can alert somebody if, they, you're, if you're afraid. Oh really? Yeah. So that's right on the app. That that's is right very there. smart. And then I know House of Ruth also offers some webinars as well. That's right. This month, every Tuesday at 2 o'clock, we're offering a free webinar. So we've talked about the dynamics of intimate partner violence. Last week we talked about teen dating violence. This week we'll be talking about the role of tech. We'll also be talking about the impact of trauma on children the following week. So making sure everyone in the community yes. has the tools through these free webinars that they can have these conversations. How much are we seeing this in our own community in terms of teen dating violence? Is this something that is really prevalent? It cuts every community, every demographic, every socioeconomic status. It is happening everywhere. So if you think you're not seeing it, it's really because you're not asking the questions. Wow. And then on the flip side of that, there's there's help. I mean, being there's I shouldn't just say help. There's help and a future after. Absolutely. People can recover, people can heal, yes. people can thrive, even if they've experienced dating violence. I think that's really important because I think when you're a teenager, you think it's just sort of the end of the world. That's Everything right. is, you know, it, it's hyper emotional. And to know that you can go somewhere and get that help and that your parents and your loved ones can intervene yeah. with the House of Ruth. That's Absolutely. really amazing. So right now, again, that webinar is happening throughout the month, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. And they're also recorded. You can get the recordings. We also want people to know, you know, the last thing a teen wants to hear is that they have to end a relationship, right? Encourage yes. parents and, and um, adults who are working with youth. Let the teen lead the process. It's really a, not about telling them whether they can be in a relationship or not. It's more about making sure they have the tools to make healthy decisions for themselves. Right. So you can guide them because this is a process that they're going to need later on in life, That's just right. making really smart decisions. Yeah. The very best defense against teen dating violence is making sure that that teen has healthy relationship role models. Yes. If you're the parent and you can't be that role model, who's somebody in their life that they can that you can point to and say, this is the kind of relationship I want for you. Just really great information. Where can people go for more? Are they just the Facebook site? You can go to our Facebook page yes. where you get the details about the webinars, or you can go to our website at www.hroof.org. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate this yeah. information. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.